Hey, this is Amanda Eloesh, and I'm here with this week's Goddess Diary. And um, it's uh, I'm here to help you have more sacredness, more magic in your life without the religion, without the dogma, but all the fun. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about um, love and my issues with love. I'm here at um, the altar in the temple here where I live and uh, we're at the altar of the goddess of love that's the focus this month in the living wisdom school and um and i you know i didn't even realize i had issues with love <laughs> um, i'm a very loving person i work with the goddess of love for many many years and and i'm a very loving person and love is kind of my go-to um it's my cure for everything and uh so I would have been one of the last people I thought who had an actual problem with love. Um, so I'm going to share with you what my problem is, <laughs> or was, or is. Uh, I'm working on it. Anyway, um, I have new love in my life. I called in an amazing beloved, and um, kind of everything that I've been asking for, it's been really, really amazing. And um, it's it's new, but it also is very deep and powerful and feels like it's been there forever now. You know, that kind of love. Um, very familiar already. And, um, and not so long ago, uh, my beloved uh, expressed to me that he wanted to feel closer to me. And, my, and he suggested some ways and some ways in which he felt like we weren't as close as he wanted to be. And my instant response was, that's unhealthy, um, that's codependent, and I need to stay sovereign. And, um, and he challenged me to really think about it and, and really feel into whether it was actually unhealthy or if it was possible for us to be closer and more intimate, you know, energetically and emotionally connected. Uh, without it being unhealthy. So in the past, uh, I've been single for quite a while and I love my life and um, love how I do things and um, you know, feel very strong and sovereign and I do my business on my own and, and I take care of my life in a really great way. And I've learned to be a soloist and um, told myself, you know, in the past also further back, um, I've been in codependent relationships and stepped really deep into the zone of sovereignty to make sure that I didn't lose my strength, that I didn't lose my center, uh, and that I didn't give up what was important to me um, and focusing on my health and uh, you know making my well-being my number one focus um, to be with somebody else, you know, to compromise that trade, that unconscious trade that is so easy to do sometimes so that we can have love. And so I decided to allow myself to really sit and question my own beliefs that were there for health, very healthy reasons and had kept me healthy, um, for years. And, um, what I realized was that I was willing to give it a shot <laughs> and see if it wasn't possible to, to maintain my sovereignty, to stay connected, to honor what was true and healthy for me, and also reach out a little bit more and to receive a little bit more and to connect and share a little bit more deeply. And what I found was that it's completely possible. And then there was this interesting assumption I had about love and the limits I could experience love at that were actually keeping me from enjoying the relationship that I have been calling in for so long. And what I'm enjoying now is more int intimacy, a deeper connection, a greater sense of being loved and cared about. And I, my loving, caring nature can all now step out in ways that I've never been able, well, not never, but I haven't been able to do for a long time and haven't really been able to do it in a healthy way because it's not been reciprocated. And here's this person who wants to reciprocate it with me. And it's just been such a absent experience for my life. I told myself it, it couldn't be there and be healthy. So I had this limiting belief that I needed to question and step outside of. So 
Today I want to encourage you to feel into certain beliefs that you have about love that might be limited and might be keeping you from enjoying something that's being offered, something that's loving. It may not necessarily be romantic love. It may be a loving you know, gesture. Maybe there's somebody who's offering something loving and kind that's at, that you've got mental ideas, fixed ideas about that you're steering away from because you want to be safe that actually would be really good and really nourishing for your soul to take that risk. And that doesn't mean just, you know, anybody who's offering you something with the label of love on it is something you should just totally go for. You should always check into your internal wisdom, but to just say, you know, just just, just choose to explore, you know, take a couple of little baby steps closer to the edge of your comfort zone maybe a little couple steps outside your comfort zone to see if old beliefs about love or abundance, goddess of love, is also about abundance, old ideas about how we receive prosperity in our lives as well, might be limited. Just see if they're limited and see if they're limited in ways that they don't need to be. So that's my challenge for you and my share for you today and um, I'm loving it. It is a little scary but the rewards are just totally worth the extra effort it takes to check in and feel in whether each step, each act is serving me or not. So um, that's, my, that's my share for this week and I hope that it serves you and I hope that it helps you to open to more love, more prosperity. And until next week, may love and the source be with you.